continuing the series of weekly contest 272 let's do it for the third question we have already solved the first two questions and this time it is minimum time to complete trips here in this question we are given the trip time of each bus in the form of an array and we are given the total target trip count that simply means that in totality among all these buses the total trips that are to be completed are five the trip time for the first bus happens to be one unit second bus happens to be two units third bus happens to be three units what do we need to do we need to identify that particular time for which the total trips will be completed also it is specified that all these buses are operating parallelly in nature and the trip of one any of any particular bus is not dependent on the other one i'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it minimum time to complete trips lead code 2187 it's a medium level question on lead code and i totally feel the same so let's take the same example that was specified in the question we have the buses trip time areas 1 2 and 3 and let's hypothetically assume instead of having total trips count as 5 we are using 15 as reference so that you get a good hold of the concept the approach that we will use to solve this question would be range based binary search and we have solved plenty of questions in the past using range based binary search if you are aware of it well and good if you are not this is a video for you what do we do in such an approach we create two pointers as the as the approach itself is binary search left and right and initially to what value will these be initialized left would be initialized to one and right would be initialized to the minimum number of trips time what is the minimum number of trip time it is one in this entire array into the total trip count that we are seeing so the upper bound could be set to that value 1 into 15 because in at least in 15 minutes or 15 seconds you'll be able to complete 15 trips so that is the reason minimum number of trip count into the total trips that we need to complete so we have taken these two pointers left and right and what do we do next we simplify simply identify the mid value 1 plus 15 by 2 happens to be 8 so mid comes out to be 8. Now we will look out for the total number of trips that could be completed in the time span of 8 units. And for that, let's iterate through the entire array and calculate the total number of trips that could be completed in 8 units of time. So let's go for the first trip. It takes 1 unit of time. So corresponding to bus this, 8, eight trips can be completed. 8 by 1 gives you 8. For cor corresponding to this particular one, 8 by 2 gives you 4, as a result of which 4 trips can be completed. 8 by 3 gives you 2, as a result of which 2 trips for this particular bus can be completed. In totality, how many trips have we concluded? 8 plus 4 plus 2. So 8 plus 4 gives me 12, 12 plus 2 gives me 14. So we have completed 14 trips in totality. What do you see here? You see that your target trip count was 15. Since the current trip count happens to be lower in nature than your target trip count, what do you do in such case? You simply increment your low pointer to mid plus 1. So low gets updated to mid plus 1, which is 9. Now we have low set to 9. And right set to 15. Let me just change the color of pen for better understanding. And let's again calculate the middle value. What is the middle value? 9 plus 15 is 24. 24 by 2 gives me 12. So let's assume that the total trip time happens to be 12. And given this time, how many trips can be concluded? So 12 by 1 gives me 12. 12 by 2 gives me 6. 12 by 3 gives me 4. So the total trip count would be 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22. So we have completed 22 trips, which is way beyond our expectation. The target trip count was 15. However, we are able to do 22 trips. As a result of which, we have to reduce the range. 
and as i say reduce the range this time instead of moving the left pointer we will move the right pointer to mid so right now points to mid let me just change the color of pen for the third iteration and right becomes 12 instead of 22 or uh, instead of 15 left remains the same which happens to be 9 now we have left as 9 right as 12 let's calculate the middle one 9 plus 12 gives you 21 21 by 2 gives you 10 so the middle value happens to be 10 and let's calculate the total trip count that can be completed in 10 units of time so 10 by 1 gives you 10 10 by 2 gives you 5 10 by 3 gives you 3 so the total trip count would be equal to 10 plus 5 is 15 15 plus 3 is 18 so 18 happens to be way more than the target trip count as a result of which again what we will do will reduce the right pointer to mid so let's shoot for the next iteration and let's take black this time right gets updated to mid so right now points to 10 and left still points to 9 so let's go and identify the middle point 9 plus 10 is 19 19 by 2 is 9 so mid gets updated to 9 let's calculate the total trip count that can be completed in 9 minutes of time 9 by 1 is 9 9 by 2 is 4 9 by 3 happens to be 3 so 9 plus 4 is 13 13 plus 3 happens to be 16 the total trip count happen comes out as 16 again it is greater so what do we do in such case we reduce the right pointer to mid so right gets reduced to mid what is the value updated value the right value is 9 and here you see the breakage condition because low also points to 9 right also points to 9 as a result of which 9 is the final answer that we are looking for typical way of using range based binary search nothing new nothing complex or complicated to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section here i've created two pointers left and right left points to one and for calculating the right value i have figured out the minimum time that is present in my entire time array and i multiply it with total trips that i have so i got get the right bound i get the left bound what do I do next? I find out the mid value of left and right. And then using this mid value, I calculate the total number of trips that can be completed. I have created a helper method for this, which is iterating over the uh, time array and giving us the total trips that can be completed in this given time. If this total value turns out to be less than the total trips, what do I do? I update my left to mid plus one. Otherwise I update my right to mid. In the end, as soon as this loop breaks, I simply return the left value that will give me the answer. So left and low can be interchanged. Here in the terminology, I have used left. However, in the presentation, I used low. This, the time complexity for this approach would be order of n log n. And the space complexity would be constant space. We are not using anything extra for this. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. We have already solved the first two questions and this was the third one. Now we'll shoot for the last question of the series.